so super excited to be here. I would like to thank your amazing pageant director. For many years, I have been watching her grow and flourish. And you know, as a former queen myself, it says a lot because I know pageant directors and I see a lot of pageant directors in the room competing in this pageant, which says a lot about really the mission of this organization, its perceived value, and really the respect that it has in pageantry. So let me tell you something, you're in this room, you've selected a first class pageant. So a round of applause. One of the things that I love about pageantry is not just the crown, because that's cute too, we like to razzle dazzle, but also the sense of community, the sense of friendship, being with like-minded women and men, right? Yeah, we have some kings in the house. Being with individuals who care about their community, who care about their families, and who have faith. That's one of the things that I love about this pageant, is that your executive director, she le leads with the message of faith. Yeah. Yeah. The message of family and the message of community. I am here to tell you that there is no better MBA, PhD, bachelor's program than pageantry. Yeah. Pageantry yeah. teaches it all to you. Masquerade dinner and awards dinner. Um, every year we have some sort of a theme celebration just for fun and to get to know each other. And tonight we are doing a masquerade dinner. And then we're going to be giving some special awards. And we're going to be giving our, um, we're going to be crowning our lifetime queens tonight. I am Darla Allgood. I am the Queen of Queens of today's International Women. And we are celebrating today's international pageant tonight with a masquerade ball. And I am wearing turquoise because I'm the queen of queens and everybody else will be in black and white to accent. Hi, I'm Stacy Disney Walker. I'm the current 2016 Today's American Woman, Mrs. And tonight we're having our great masquerade ball. And I joined TIW because I was looking for a pageant that would allow women of all sizes and all shapes and also it was a great way to share my platform which is pancreatic cancer awareness. Both my parents passed away from that so I decided to join um, TI 
T-I-W, um, in order to be able to spread awareness about pancreatic cancer and the need for more funds and research. And I'm just having a great time meeting all the new state queens and looking forward to see who is going to be my successor and who will wear my crown next. Today's International Woman is more than just a pageant. We're a women on a mission. We are a family-oriented, faith-based pageant, and we are about making a difference, one crown at a time. I think it means something for each person. Everyone who enters pageantry does it for a different reason. Sometimes it's because they're Maybe they had low self-esteem and they're looking for a way to maybe boost their self-esteem. Some people do it because they're trying to overcome some difficulty in their life. So I think it's just um, a way for each woman to express herself in a way, um, maybe take them out of their comfort zone um, so they can blossom into the real woman that, they, that they, they choose to be or they hope to be. So for me, that's that's what it did for me, and I know there's all the women here are in it for a different reason. They're in the pageant to have a different experience, but I think the thing that's most important is that they're going to gain lots of new friendships, they're going to have lots more confident, confidence after this, and they're just going to have an amazing experience, and hopefully they'll have the same great experience that I had my first year. TIW is about a mission about serving others. It's not about glitz and glam, what size you are or uh, what you look like. It's more about what's in the heart. And we are a mission-driven pageant where we are taking our mission across the globe. We also have an invisible and disability category, which I absolutely love, where these ladies can feel valued and feel appreciated being in the pageant. Plus, we have the Today's International Kids program where we are teaching the younger generation about serving others and helping others in their community. Plus we have men too. So, I mean, it's a pageant for everybody. And if I can't relay another message to you this week, other than to let you know that this is not just another pageant, I'm here to tell you that. This is a pageant that you will stay connected with, you will find service in, you will find what you call purpose. And I just want to thank you all so much for not only choosing this pageant, but finding it within yourself to make this week, this year, and most importantly, each and every day, just amazing and living it to the fullest. We, as a Today's International Woman Foundation, like to recognize people in our communities that also give back a lot and have a heart for serving God and serving others.
have our talent competition tonight for the Today's International Kid and the Today's International Woman, as well as our spokesmodel and our Today's International Man pageant. This is my favorite part, well, I can't say that. I love it all, but this is a lot of entertainment and letting loose and the ladies really like to cheer for each other, so they really enjoy this competition. I think that I have some amazingly talented ladies, um, anywhere from the one doing the monologue, to the singing, to the dancing. We just have a uh, hodgepodge of all sorts of talents, and I'm fortunate to have them all as part of my pageant. Amazingly, I mean, the talent, the level of talent shown, and just the variety. I feel like we saw somebody pull well, a rifle um, covered in pink rhinestones. We had somebody sing a romance song about shoes, which was interesting, and then like flag curling by the pool. It's so cool. It was. So much variety. I love that. Yeah. Loving it. Awesome. Great. We're having a great time. And upstairs, in that room, when darkness comes in on me, myself that you wasn't the finest man in the world. And wherever you was gonna go, I was gonna be right there with you. I got a shoe crush. <laughs> International Women is one of the best pageant systems that I've ever been a part of just because of what they represent, the type of women. They're very inclusive. They see special needs, you know, pageant ladies, and just people with wonderful platforms. It's for a good cause, and we really enjoy it. Nunca olvidaré que aun siendo extraños nos pudimos comprender y que al mirar no nos amamos sin querer. For me, it's really fun. Um, especially when girls like make up their own songs and their own dances, so it's pretty cool. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long now. Oh, you're a hard one, but I know that you've got your reasons. I think this is the best event I've ever done, and this has even surpassed my wedding now, which, well, I'm divorced, but still, you know, it, it definitely has surpassed every expectation of anything I've ever had that I've actually produced. I'm Victoria Huntley, and I am the 
MC of the show. I am from Cycle 19 of America's Next Top Model, Top 5. Really my favorite part is honestly just learning all the women's stories. I mean, you have people from so many walks of life, and I think what makes TIW so different than Miss America or Miss USA, which tend to be a little bit more maybe talent or based on looks, this is really based on community service. What have these women done for their communities? What if they, we have women in wheelchairs with walkers? One of my models that I was able to get booked for 17 Magazine, Autumn Akin Cade, is with a walker, and she's just doing amazing things, a cerebral palsy advocate. So just networking with all these women that, I mean, promote amazing charities is my number one thing. <laughs> I am overwhelmed and blown away at the announcement. Did you hear it? We're going to Tampa next year because there are several sponsors in Tampa that want to sponsor this pageant. We're probably going to be at the Tampa Theater, which is a very elegant theater in Tampa. And um, we have our entertainer has attained over $25,000 in sponsors in 24 hours for this pageant system and ministry. So yeah, I'm very blown away and very blessed, beyond blessed. It has been amazing. It actually has been more than what I expected at this point. It's been an amazing journey, a busy journey, and we are so excited to crown our new national queens and our um, just everything. It's so, just so exciting and so fun and so just fulfilling all the way around. It's just helping others and making a difference. And that's what I love to do, serving others and just helping them all out. I was told that God had a promotion for this pageant, that God had a meaning and a purpose for this year, and that this was going to be my year of change and my year of rebranding and rebirth, and He is right on time because it was, and I'm just I'm thrilled to see what we have in store.